Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and today I'm going to talk about my refrigerator. Beach Lane, the folks that brought us the very nice um, trailer levelers um, that I have a video, I'll put the link down below, um, they, they contacted me again and asked if I would be interested in a refrigerator, RV refrigerator circulation fan. Now, I've always known that I probably needed something like that based on super hot days where the refrigerator just doesn't work as well. Stuff at the bottom is much colder, sometimes frost, frosted than the stuff in the top of the compartment. So I did a little research and I realized that a lot of people are putting this type of thing inside the, refri in, inside the refrigerator. Um, when I get back, we're going to take a look at this product. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how these R RV refrigerators are, how they work. We're going to put this thing to the test. It's been so, it's been so, cruising to the camp, start singing our song. It's been so, it's been so, we are the Airstream Nerds. Yeah. The RV refrigerator, as you know, they have 12 volt models, they have propane models, and they have, you know, 120 volt regular um, um, AC current models. Now, most of the Airstreams have uh, a combo model of the 120 volt regular plug-in and propane um, at least that's definitely what my model has and i know people like to upgrade to the all three types because it's nice to be able to run your um camper or your refrigerator off 110 if you if you i mean off of, of 12 volts if you have a good solar system or you're boondocking and you want to just use your propane for heat and stuff like that um but anyway so the way the ref the rv refrigerator works is either the 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 either method you use whether it's propane 12 volt or or um 120 volt ac it it they all work the same basically the power element the the propane or the electric it essentially heats an element up um there is a uh, for lack of a better term a, a a tank that has some sort of ammonia type um solution inside of it and when it heats up the ammonia turns in the gas and goes up into the condenser coils. And as it goes up into the condenser coils, it cools and turns back into liquid. And there's hydrogen in the mix. And when the hydrogen and the liquid ammonia, um, when, when, they, when they interact, it becomes a gas. And, the, and the, the chemical reaction of the gas is, is what makes it cold. And that cold gas is run through the, the, the coils, evaporator coils, and that is essentially is what cools your refrigerator down. So, and then uh, it's a closed system, so the gas is then collected, it, it goes back down, it gets heated up again, turns back into a liquid, blah, 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 and, and over and over and over. And that's, that's essentially what keeps your refrigerator cool. The difference is, is I, I know in this, this particular model Dometic um, refrigerator that I have, is there there's there's no damper or any there's nothing that brings the cold air like in a normal refrigerator in your house the the all the cooling goes into the freezer and then there is a vent or a damper or a small fan or or all depends on there's all different ways and then that cooler air is controlled and it's put down in your refrigerator which is where the little setting of one through five and, and stuff like that if, if you have an like like a, a lower lower cost uh, for refrigerator, it has something like that. Some of the higher end models have actual temperatures that you can set them. Um, the camper refrigerators basically have like a ice chest compartment that is separate from the refrigerator compartment. They, they, there's no vent that, that combines the two. They're just two different compartments. The coldest air go in the in the system. The evaporator coils up higher on your refrigerator. And that's why the freezer is colder than the, than the refrigerator part. And then, of course, you can dial down the numbers on these refrigerators and have them be colder or hotter, depending on, you know, so the environment, essentially. The hotter it is, the, the, the harder these work outside. So um, a lot of us have already installed cooling fans on the back side of the refrigerator, which what that does is it, it allows the refrigerator to work less um, less hard to cool because we're we're giving it instead of instead of just having heat rise 
and and escape through the vent there is a vent um for these refrigerators what we're, what we've done is add a fan that helps pull that heat off and just helps it be more efficient and it's a small little cheap 12 volt van lots of folks have done that modification um you really i can show you but you can't see anything um because it's behind the refrigerator and, and it was done when i had solar stuff done but what that doesn't do is it doesn't solve the issue inside the refrigerator. so there's lots of there's lots of variation models of this this particular device um and when i first saw the pictures I thought it was going to be much bigger. So I was surprised. This is about the size of a Rubik's Cube. If you've ever had one, old folks like me know that they were a big deal back in the day when they came out. Um, they still have them. It's about that size. You know, it's not huge. Um, it does run on D batteries. Um, this particular Beach Lane model, it has a lifetime warranty. So if you ever have any problems with it, you just let them know. You give them, I guess you give them your order number or whatever information you get this on amazon I'll put the link below um you put this i mean the directions are super simple you you take the bottom the panel off the bottom which a little screwdriver might be a little bit more helpful you put your batteries in here We'll see, this is, so far this is the hardest part for me. <laughs> Good Lord, come on. Okay, got the batteries in. Put the thing back on, the bottom back on. You can see that there's a little fan. Now this thing runs at um, 3000 RPM. It has an on-off switch, and, well, they say it's a high-volume, high-air-volume output. Um, like I said, it's a simple one-page little set of directions. Now, I have a microphone right here. I'm going to turn this thing on. Super quiet. There's a good amount of air coming out of this thing. I don't know if you can hear the fan the air hitting the mic but I mean there's enough there's enough air to to blow this and hold this up in my hand so it for for the for the sound um, it's a lot of volume and it's super simple you just Let's go over here to the refrigerator. This thing doesn't take up that much room in the refrigerator. You definitely want to put it in the bottom. So you're blowing the air up. You're pushing the cold air up. So it mixes with the still cool air, but the but the cool the less cool air, and you get some so you get this you get this rotation of the air mixing together. Um, I guess you could even put it in the door if you wanted to. Um, although I would probably probably be better to put it in the back here so you're pushing the air from the back to the front and getting it all all circulated the the, the door might get a little especially the the lower shelf there would get a little bit um, behind the would get blocked a little bit down here with the drawers and stuff and you know if they rattle open um, or whatever that maybe maybe you want to stick this thing in the back 100% it's a worthwhile investment, um, especially if you use your refrigerator a lot and you camp in the summer. It will, it will, it, it 100%, whether you buy the one from Beach Lane, which it, I think, I think the price is like 26 bucks and um, with a lifetime warranty, you only have to buy it once. Um, they'll stand by their products. I've um, been happy with the uh, products that I have from them so far. Once again, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. As always, we appreciate using our affiliate links to purchase products from Amazon and other places. It is much appreciated. We get a small commission out of that, um, so thank you. Um, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put any questions or comments you have below about this or anything having to do with the RV refrigerators, and I'll do the best um, that I can to give you a, a, a good answer. Um, as always, I'll see you on the next trip.